Hi Emke. Um, in this video I'll show you how to get uh, GIS data from QGIS into SketchUp using Modeler. So the data set that I'm using is this public data set from the Dutch government. The guide how to set it up for the QGIS is in this wiki bktudelft.nl uh, so here you can find out more about how you can set up this data set in QGIS so that it will actually appear here, here in WFS services. So the one that I'm using is BAG and BAG pend is the layer for the building. So now I can zoom out and uh, QGIS we, we load all the buildings that are visible in our area. So the one I'm interested in in this case is this part of Amsterdam. So what I'll do now is I'll go here to select some features. So I'll do something like that. Just select them and then I'll go to edit copy features and again edit paste features as new vector layer. Now this will actually save already a GeoJSON or some other file like shapefile, so I'll, I'll just uh, stick with GeoJSON. So, and the important thing here is that you need to set correctly this CRS. So the default is Amersfoort, so let's first go with this one, just give it the, the, the name, so I'll go with Amsterdam, let's go in this case Amersfoort. Amers JSON save and OK. You will see the layer will be instantly added to our QGIS layers. So this is now the data that we have. And if I go now to Modeler, you will see when I try to load the data, uh, it will complain because it's not the, in the correct coordinate system. So now what I need to do is I'll go here and I could actually do this directly when I was copy pasting the, the layer. But just for the sake of clarity, I first created the wrong one. So now what I'll do is I'll go here with the duplicate, not the duplicate layer. I don't want to just duplicate it or let me go here, just export again, save features as. And here I'll, I'll see the same dialog as before, but this time I will not pick the EPSG 28992, but I'll go with EPSG 4326 VGS84. Now this is the coordinate system that is also recognized by SketchUp. So let me just go here and say Amsterdam EPSG 4326. So this is the correct coordinate system. Save. Now I have the same set of data uh, stored also as EPSG A. 4326 um, and then I'll go here back to Modeler to SketchUp and let me go here and try to load this file that I have just created. Now you can see it doesn't complain anymore so in this case let's go here and import this as Modeler buildings. Now the only uh, attribute that I recognize from here is the bow yard so I'll map that one to construction year. Uh, if I had some heights and other parameters uses, I could map those, those also, but I only have this one in this case. So here, by clicking on the import GIS layer, you will see that buildings are being generated now in SketchUp, and these are actually modular parametric buildings, so you can uh, keep on working with them. Yeah, so hopefully this explains how to prepare the GIS data. Uh, and in the case that I've shown you here, I'm using as a source this stream data from Dutch cadastral um, services, but I could use as a source also just a, a regular shapefile, GeoJSON or some other GIS dataset, select it the same way and then just store it here, like uh, the, the direct way would be just go here, edit, copy features, and then paste features as new vector layer. And here, instead of saving as this one Amersfoort, I would go with EPSG 4326. This is the important thing. And that's it. Thank you and bye-bye.